What if I told you Nigeria is about to build an underwater tunnel right beneath the Lagos Lagoon? A bold new vision is unfolding, and it's not just about roads. It's about connecting every corner of the country in a way we've never seen before. Deep beneath the ever-moving traffic of Victoria Island and the swirling tides of the Lagos Lagoon, a new chapter in Nigeria's infrastructural story is being written. A bold and unprecedented project is underway. The construction of the nation's very first undersea tunnel, designed to link Amadu Bello Way to Snake Island in Lagos. This monumental development is more than a tunnel. It's a strategic piece in the larger puzzle of Nigeria's infrastructural transformation. It will serve as a vital component of the broader Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway and the Sokoto Badagri Superhighway. Two legacy projects shaping the future of connectivity, commerce, and unity across the country. As these landmark initiatives gain traction, Nigeria is steadily positioning itself among global leaders in civil engineering and infrastructure development. The undersea tunnel in particular stands out as a powerful symbol of a nation boldly advancing into the future. In a move set to redefine how Nigeria connects its economic and industrial hubs, the federal government has announced plans for the Victoria Island to Snake Island underwater tunnel. This engineering marvel will seamlessly link the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway to the Sokoto Badagri Superhighway via the Badagri Corridor. According to the Minister of Works, this undersea tunnel is more than just an ambitious blueprint. It is a linchpin in the integrated network of highways meant to unify the country. From the coastline of Lagos to the far reaches of Calabar, from the capital in Abuja to the heart of the Northeast, this sweeping infrastructure vision touches all six geopolitical zones. It's a masterstroke that promotes national unity, strengthens regional trade, and unlocks sustainable economic growth. What sets this tunnel apart is its purpose. Designed to bypass the gridlocked surface routes and bustling maritime traffic of Lagos, it offers a faster, more secure passage for vehicles between Victoria Island and Snake Island, a critical hub for oil and gas logistics. Beyond cargo movement, the tunnel will also function as a vital evacuation route and tourism booster. It will open up access to pristine beaches and resorts, while stimulating real estate growth on Snake Island and neighboring mainland districts. This tunnel is not just an engineering solution, it is a declaration of intent. For decades, cities like London, Tokyo and Hong Kong have used underwater tunnels to solve transport challenges, enhance urban mobility and expand economic possibilities. Now, Nigeria joins that league with its first foray into subaquatic construction. Building underwater infrastructure comes with no shortage of challenges, from soil instability and corrosion to seismic risks and high costs. However, the world offers ample lessons. Take the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, for example. Despite its early struggles, it stands today as one of the most successful and resilient engineering feats on the planet. With the right planning, research and global collaboration, Nigeria can follow suit. This means conducting detailed geotechnical and environmental studies before any digging begins and partnering with nations like Norway and Japan countries with decades of expertise in subsea tunneling. The knowledge exchange from such partnerships could be transformative, laying the groundwork for a long-term, nationwide tunneling program. If successful, the Victoria Island Snake Island Tunnel could become a model for similar ventures. Imagine tunnels under the Lagos Lagoon connecting through Lekki or linking Lagos Island directly to Apapa cutting travel times dramatically and easing traffic that has plagued the city for decades. Beyond the tunnel, Nigeria's infrastructure overhaul is already underway. Construction of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway kicked off in March 2024. The first section, covering 47.47 kilometers from Amadou Bello Way, is already seeing results. About 15 kilometers of dual carriageway have been completed and the goal is to deliver 30 kilometers by May 2025, including a continuous 20-kilometer stretch from Victoria Island and another 10 kilometers near Aliko Junction. There have been setbacks, of course, 
Sand settlement and ocean surges around Drainage 13 have delayed some of the concrete work. But the Ministry of Works has responded swiftly, applying advanced drainage and soil stabilization techniques to keep things on track. Section 2 of the highway, from Eleko to the Lekki Deep Sea Port and the Dangote Industrial Corridor, is also making significant strides. Once completed, this stretch will transform how goods are moved from Nigeria's fastest growing port and industrial centers, slashing delivery times, cutting fuel costs, and opening up massive new opportunities for investment. This highway does not stand alone. It connects directly with the ambitious Trans-Saharan Road, linking Calabar to Abuja through Eboi, Benue, Kogi, and Nasarawa, and then branching northeastward to Bauchi and Gombe. Together with the Sokoto Badagri Superhighway feeding in from the northwest, this vast network of roads is forming a continuous loop across Nigeria. This is no longer about isolated roads or disconnected regions. This is a national blueprint for unity and progress. It's about building the kind of infrastructure that supports trade, tourism, agriculture and technology. The kind that strengthens the economy, bridges regional divides, and builds a future for generations to come. The undersea tunnel between Victoria Island and Snake Island, combined with the sweeping highway network that surrounds it, is more than an upgrade. It's a statement, a declaration that Nigeria is ready to face the future, not with hesitation, but with innovation, resilience, and bold ambition. What are your thoughts on this landmark project? Do you believe Nigeria is ready for underwater transport? Drop your comments below and let's have that conversation. Don't forget to like this video, share it with others who care about Nigeria's future, and subscribe for more updates. And hey, turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next big announcement. Thanks for watching.